afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Today's date is May the, what is it? May the 18th, I believe. No, May the 17th, guys. And the local time right now in Denver is 2.14 uh, p.m. Guys, I am on the good foot, sort of, heading to my gate. Um, I do have a trip today that I bid it for and I got it. So guys, I am going to airport code MSP, which is Minneapolis, St. Paul. Then I'm coming right back to Denver. So today is the last day of a six day reserve block. So as of today, the 17th, I have not been used for couch. Crew scheduling has not even called me. So it goes like that sometimes, but guys, my check-in was 2.15. So when I tell you I am like right on the cusp, I am right on the cusp, guys. And my gate is all the way on the other side of the Acon course, but I decided to stop at Starbucks. Was running a little late today. Left my battery for this camera at the crash pad. Had to go back, so that kind of cut into my time. But right now I am heading to my gate. I stopped at the Sea Concourse and got my drink. I got a slice of pizza for food and that's really about it but today guys I'm going home because I have three days off and as of now there's nothing to pick up so I'm off on the 18th 19th and 20th so again nothing for me to pick up so I am going home when I come back from my trip so I got all my stuff ready to head back to Phoenix and surprisingly guys that flight is almost full so I'm not sure what it is about Phoenix but those flights are always full um, see. So, I can hardly breathe in this mask hold on I have to switch Yes. Okay. So guys, I'm heading to my gate. No one is hardly here right now, but what a chaotic day. So, um, yeah guys, not too much flying going on. So like I said, because we're limited to turns, possibly a two day with a uh, layover, I have to pick up on my last day. I have a hard time breathing in this mask, but I know that it's needed. All right, so guys, I am almost near my gate. So you guys know what I'm gonna do. When I head down that jet bridge, I will be with you shortly, but I'm heading to Minneapolis, then going home to Phoenix. So stay tuned guys. Alright guys, so I am heading down that good old jet bridge, about to do my safety checks and get ready to board our passengers to board the plane to head to Minneapolis. Again, this is a turn on the last day of my six day reserve block. So guys, when I land in Minneapolis, per usual, I will be with you shortly, so stay tuned. Okay guys, so I've safely arrived in Minneapolis. Let's see, local time. Oh, it's 6.15 p.m. So it's actually raining out here. It is raining in Minneapolis and we have a little ground time. So we arrived a little early. So we got about, hmm, about 35 minutes before we start uh, boarding but the flight time flight time from Denver to Minneapolis was an hour 30 now guys the flight load so I'm on an A320 Space Flex so this is the aircraft that has 186 passengers max 31 rows of seats so we were almost full. So loads are starting to get a little full and that is a good sign. Even my flight to Phoenix, guys, so surprisingly, it is getting really full. But let me show you the weather. It's absolutely gorgeous. So 
So you guys can see the clouds. Yeah, it's raining. But I have a hard time breathing in this mask. So there's not a lot of people here at the airport. Not sure what the flight time is going back or how many passengers, but loads are starting to get a lot fuller than what it has been. Um, but I'm flying with someone who is junior to me. She graduated in March, so I feel kind of good because I am flying with people who are senior, but I have someone who is junior to me. So like I said, guys, when I get to Denver, I have a flight to Phoenix at 1020. So I should be able to like rest a little bit, head to my gate. That's what I'll end up doing. But uh, some of the flight attendants stepped off. There's not really too many food places open at this airport, subway and something else. But honestly, I'm not hungry at all. I'm not. So guys, the latest book that I'm reading, let me see if I can pull it up. I finished my Muhammad Ali book. So the next book, guys, I decided to read was actually by Tion Watkins, who was the lead singer for TLC. So her book is called A Sick Life. Yeah. If you guys can see that. Oh, no, you guys did not see that. Let me see if I can go back. No, huh, well, it's called A Sick Life, and I was trying to get the cover, but A Sick Life, and it's uh, TLC and me, stories from on and off the stage. So these are all the books I've read currently. So I just purchased that book, but I just downloaded it. Ooh. I'm sorry, I'm sweating. That mask is just, I'm telling you. These masks will tell you if you have bad breath or not. So yeah, that is the book I'm reading. Just catch a breath. Okay, put this back on. Um, but it's beautiful in Minneapolis, guys. Um, I think I've been out here before, if I'm not mistaken. I have, but I always enjoy like airport art and scenery. Oh, there's a piano here. You guys see that? Some more stuff. You guys can kind of look at the people here. Not too many people. All right, guys, I'm gonna head to the bathroom. I just want to come out, stretch my legs for a second, and then I'm gonna get back on this uh, flight here. But I'll touch down with you when I get back to Denver. So stay tuned, guys. All right, guys, so I am back in Denver and the local time right now is 8.19 p.m. Okay, so guys, flight time from Minneapolis to Denver was exactly an hour and 30 minutes. Um, this was also almost a full flight with the exceptions of a few seats that was open so remember guys i was on an a320 space flex which is the max 186 passengers 31 rows of seats guys so again this is was almost a full flight going to and from and my flight to phoenix just about the same thing so there's some passengers from uh, the flight um Minneapolis to Denver, that's also going to Phoenix. So guys, again, the flight leaves at 10.20, 9.35, I believe, is when they start boarding. So I have about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna go, I already checked in, so I'm just basically waiting. Now guys, I am extremely tired. Last night, I did not get enough sleep. Um, actually, I went to bed around seven o'clock this morning, which was really, really weird. So I hope to take a little cat nap um yeah i'll take a little cat nap when i get to uh well when i get on the plane going to phoenix so i'm hoping i can get on like this is scary because i'm looking at how many seats are available of course as a flight attendant guys i can take the jump seat 
and the jump seat is what we as flight attendants uh, sit on during during duty but depending on the aircraft there might be one or two available so hopefully there's an open seat and also you got to think about it the seniority if someone comes to the gate that is more senior than me i would get bumped so there's somebody on the list who's more senior all in all i'm hoping to make my flight to phoenix guys because again i can't find anything to pick up so the 18th 19th and the 20th i have off so i already have my ticket going to phoenix and then i'm coming back on the 20th with my airline so i have everything planned out but again nothing is ever ever guaranteed when you are flying in standby including the employee which is me anything can happen and it just so happens phoenix is a very senior base for a lot of airlines okay my airline is no exception so again doesn't matter if i paid the fee to go to phoenix or come to phoenix standby is never guaranteed but yes guys so that's what i'm doing right now 821 just waiting um i don't know if i'm gonna get something to eat i need to call my dad let him know i'm coming because he has my car i need to get in contact with my best friend karina let her know the plans of me getting on this flight because she has to work in the morning so i've got to do all these things because i don't want to go to arizona and not have a plan so that is what i'm doing just try to get away from the crash pad you know even though the owner don is so sweet it's recommended on your days off to go somewhere so i don't have money to get a hotel so i'd rather go home and see my family and my friends you know so that is what's going on guys um i'm going to get my playlist together always trying to have a good playlist because i am very tired i'm two chapters into uh, t boss's book so already i'm intrigued because i really want to know what happened with her and mr dalvin y'all remember she was dating mr dalvin from uh jodeci remember um she was in that video love your life so i've always been curious she may not reveal the name but i remember a while back there were you know rumors that he cheated on her so i'm not sure i mean i know casey he cheated on mary j blige so again i'm very interested in the story then i know she married mac 10 they had a baby chase so yeah i'm very curious guys but that is what's going on so i'm just waiting for my flight i just got released from crew scheduling so that's a good thing you always want to get released if it's a trip that was given to you or bid it for you don't have to call crew scheduling if it's a trip you picked up on your days off and so you know what guys and there's another thing i forgot to tell you as of the 15th of this month may 15th i got a raise so we get two raises we get a raise the day our contract was signed which was may 15th and so now i think i make like 24 06 03 i'm not sure but i got a little raise and then i also get a raise on my one year which is august 28th and uh, let's not forget uh the 18th or not the 18th i'm sorry 11 days guys your girl's not for probation so i am very excited very excited guys so a lot of good things are happening but then again i have a current too so mm, we'll see but yeah stay tuned she's still heading to phoenix she is in route just waiting for this last flight guys so i will be with you with any more updates all right guys um so i am at my well near my gate right now there's a lot of people going to phoenix so they're going to start boarding in about 10 minutes and there's a good chance i could get on this flight but let me just show you all these people are for phoenix So my gate is straight across right here, but all these people, this is all Phoenix guys. Ah, oh, a lot of people. Well, not over here, but as you can see, there's a flight to Los Angeles over here and then also a flight to Phoenix, but I'm getting everything ready right now for my flight. I did want to show you my playlist. So guys, uh, yeah, my playlist I love it. This is just a little sample of what I listen to if I don't take me a good nap. All right. So, Ja Cure. Look at that. A little Faith Evans. 
these are like most of the songs that I, I was listening to recently DeBarge, Sean Paul I like Reflections and Sticky Murder She Wrote, that's a classic PM Dawn, I love that song Set Adrift on Memory Bliss, look at that, got me some baby face Yes, the whole entire album just about Guy Look at that, ooh, that less chill y'all You see that? Jonathan McReynolds Amazing album Switch Look at that, DeBarge Queen Oops, I was playing this music Look at that There'll Never Be I Love That Song Nicki Minaj Beyonce, K. Michelle This is the Cool Your High soundtrack with some of it But I love these songs right here Deanna Belmont, look at that, y'all see my See? Eclectic, Jodeci, Ralph Trasvine, oh my gosh See that guys? <sighs> so my playlist is lit Yes, playlist is lit guys, so I'm just ready to board this flight um, I need to go to my dad's house. I'm gonna take a lift when I get to the airport, go get my car. My best friend got to work in the morning, so I just called her. She's tired, so I'm gonna have to do that. Um, but yes, I'm ready to get on. Like, I'm tired, so now I gotta spend extra money. They're gonna probably charge me a lot to go from the airport to my dad's house. So I told him to put my keys in the car, but you guys know I'll vlog with you. It's gonna be real late, 11 something Arizona time, guys. But that is what's going on. I will be with you when I get on board, get my seat. I did want an exit roll, but beggars can't be choosers. Like I said, this flight is nearly full, so we'll see guys. But you guys stay tuned. We're headed to Phoenix now. Okay, so guys, I got a seat um, boarding the aircraft. Well, I'm on the aircraft. They're gonna start boarding in a few minutes. So I just wanna come to you guys before we take off. Um, right now, I am uh, in a exit row, so I have the aisle seat, which is beautiful. This one doesn't recline, but that's okay. I'm gonna make the most out of it. Um, not sure what the time is going to Phoenix. I know it's hours and change, but I'm just so happy that I'm going back home. So I gotta get my car when I get there, but um, yeah, they're gonna be boarding pretty soon. So guys, what I'll do is, when I touch down in Phoenix, I'll be with you guys. So stay tuned. I am still heading home. All right, guys, I'm in Phoenix. Local time is 11, 13 p.m. As you can see, the airport is empty. Businesses are closed. Only the few passengers that came off board with me are really here. All right, guys, so uh, right now, so I'm in Terminal 3. I'm heading downstairs. Again, I'm gonna have to take a lift to my dad's house. Pop said he's gonna go half with me because I know that lift ride is gonna be expensive. But guys, the flight from Denver to Phoenix was like an hour and 24 minutes. I'm so happy to be home. It's getting hot out here. I forgot my sandals. I'm not really prepared for this heat. You know, it's getting a little warm in Denver, but Phoenix heat is a whole different type of heat. So, haven't been out here when it was hot in the summertime, like forever, right? Since August. So, let me switch my hands. Let me switch. Okay. Sorry guys, my arms are getting tired. All right, but what an interesting flight. So you know our airline, we require passengers to wear a mask. And I'm just gonna leave it at that. Interesting flight, but happy to be home. Can't wait to get into Scratchy and drive somewhere. Like, I miss my car, y'all. I miss my car so much. As a matter of fact, my car payment is due. So that's gonna be 
and forty one dollars guys but let me get situated i'm about to head out of the terminal and go downstairs so guys i will be with you shortly so stay tuned but guys i made it to phoenix all right guys so i am outside right now just waiting for my lyft driver for about 10 minutes they couldn't find a nearby driver which is uh, ridiculous um so yeah he's about 16 minutes away it's a 35 dollar ride so i'm just so disappointed but hey it's whatever so i'm just gonna sit here on the bench like forrest gump and wait for this lift driver to come and take me to my dad's house but right now guys the time is 11 43 p.m hmm. i got this mask on because <laughs> i'm around a lot of people but yeah so that's what's going on so guys as soon as this driver comes I'll be with you because I am starving. Oh, there's so much going on. I gotta go to my best friend's house. And yeah, that's a whole nother story. Let me in, so I don't know. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for the next 16, 17 minutes, I'm not sure, and wait. So yeah, when I get to my dad's house, I'll be with you guys, so stay tuned. All right, guys, and I am back. I am going to officially conclude this vlog. Guys, right now the time in Phoenix is 3.06 a.m. Yes, 3.06 a.m. All right, guys, so let me just kind of fill you in about what happened. Uh, of course, went to the airport. I took a lift to my dad's house. Well, you know, my dad was like, text me when you get near. Pops was outside. Now guys, before I even go any further, my Lyft driver, okay? My Lyft driver looks just like Neo. And I thought I was being catfished. I thought it was some kind of show, you know, like Lyft, celebrity Lyft drivers on the cover. I'm telling you guys, he looked just like Neo. You gotta see this picture. All right, so you guys saw that picture. My dad took that picture of me and him, but he had the hat. He had the sparkling Michael Jackson suit with the shoes and he was playing Neo music. He looks just like Neo. And I even told him, are you a, a celebrity impersonator? He says he's not, but he even poses like Neo. He does that, you know, that little thing. So I'm thinking, again, he was a, a celebrity impersonator, but I guess he's not. So I gave him five stars because he's a good driver and I gave him a tip but yeah so he drops me off my dad takes the picture now i'm talking to my dad because you know <laughs> i'm in scratchy so you know my dad got my car as we're talking for about a half an hour a childhood not childhood friend but this girl i went to high school with i didn't know this but i guess she lives around the corner from my dad so she drives by hunks the horn it was like dia is that you and of course it's me baby it is me so we were talking and guys next thing i know it's two something in the morning okay i'm out there uh chit chatting with my friend who lives right around the corner i mean i haven't seen her since i graduated which was in 2001 guys so that's a lot of time to catch up tell her about me being a flight attendant she's had some recent tragedies so i mean you know it was good to catch up with her i was talking to my dad but guys you know i love my car I am so grateful to God for this car. And the reason why I'm grateful, guys, and so appreciative of my car, because, guys, I went years without a car. I got made fun of. Like, I was that girl who was running, chasing a bus. Not a guy. Like, uh, let me rewind that and say it again. I was the girl that was chasing a bus and not a guy. That was me. I always caught the bus. Even in my uh, later adult years, you know, I got this car two years ago. So guys, up until two years ago, like I was taking a lift or I was really catching a bus and I had no shame. I remember some guys would not talk to me because I didn't have a car, which is fine because I would not, you know, there were certain things that I would not allow myself to do when it came to dating. But you know, I love my car and I think I miss her more when I am away from her. You know, like for me, 
you can't appreciate something unless you went without. And so I went many years and I'm just so grateful. Even though I'm paying all this money in my car payment and insurance, guys, I love my car. My dad takes excellent care of my car. See, that's one thing for someone to treat your stuff like it's theirs. And he treats my car like it's a Cadillac because my dad's a very big Cadillac uh, kind of guy and his cars are always great. And every time I get my car, guys, it has a nice shine. He waxes my car. He, you know, wipes it down, washes it. My tires, my white walls, my chrome. Like my dad really takes care of my car and I really do appreciate that. You know, so I have reunited with Scratchy. And you know, I love my car. Like there's nothing like your own. Even though I'm financing, it's still mine. I'm paying the car notes, right? But when I get in my car, like I forget. I don't have to turn my wheel so aggressive. She could, I could just turn the wheel with just, you know, with this finger right here. Just do, 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 do. She turns. Denver, the crash pad car, I got to put my might into it to turn her. You see, I'm so used to my car. I know my car. I know those scratches. Those scratches know me. That's why I named her Scratchy. So it just feels good to be in my car. Eating, talking to you guys, okay? So after I got my car, you know, my friend, my best friend is probably wondering where I'm, where I, uh, where I'm at. Sorry, guys. But y'all, I'm starving y'all know i only had uh the food i had earlier you know um a slice of pizza no two slices of pizza that's all i've had today so my head was hurting so guys anytime you are in phoenix stop at this restaurant and let me show you guys you guys see that filiberto's hey mexican food guys this is where i am at listening to <laughs> hello Faith Evans, soon as I get home, y'all. And let me show you what I get from them. I get the super nachos. So guys, I do not chase waterfalls. I stick to the rivers, the lakes, and the same super nachos that I am used to. So guys, I get carne asada, chips, refried beans, and cheese. That's how I eat my tacos. This is how I eat my super nachos. This is it, very basic. I don't add I just you know I do me I stick to the same routine guys and y'all can see they're still open at 24 hours but right now I'm on 35th Avenue and Bethany home road right across the street guys is a Walmart Denny's is right there in the corner if y'all can see Denny's probably can't but yes uh, this area is actually right down the street from where I used to live that my sister she stays at now sorry it's so emotional but yeah it's right down the street so this is where you know i would go like when i would go out uh, to the club with my best friend or late nights like this i would stop here and y'all these this is like the best i'm telling you they got really good food this is also by my old job i will go there faithfully and donate all types of calories to filibertos i love it mm, so good Mm. but yes so guys guys i had quite a day i've been up since 11 so let's recap i had a six day block on my last day bid it for a trip got a turn to msp which is minneapolis st paul came back to denver waited a little bit hopped on a flight to come home to phoenix got to phoenix had to get a lift was in a lift with a great value Neo. okay dropped me off at my dad's house saw a childhood well not childhood high school friend we talked talked to my dad got in the car and this is where i'm gonna end it guys at filiberto's but it's officially the 18th so 10 more days <laughs> 10 more days and your girl's off of probation, y'all. 10 more days, it'd be nine months that I've been on my airline, guys. I'm telling you. So, again, the next step is my one year and recurrent. So, I graduated August 28th. So, guys, my recurrent training. Ooh, I'm a little nervous for that because I kind of forgot some of the things I learned. I'm going to be honest with you. And we got a raise on the 15th. So, I think I make, like I said, 2403, 2406. I'm not sure. And our per diem as of May 1st went up to $2.05. Not $2. So, guys, I'm telling you, by God's grace, 
I am hanging on y'all but I'm gonna head to Karina's house because she is gonna oh yeah it's 3 12 in the morning right now guys um I know this is bad I wouldn't recommend you guys to eat and do the things I do be better than me okay you know how your parents would say do as I say not as I do okay you get the message but yeah I'm head to her house and that's what I'm doing guys but yes your girls back home again leaving on the 20th because I go on reserve as of the 21st and then I get my schedule oh I cannot wait to see what kind of blocks a uh, reserve blocks I have for June hopefully they can give me this I don't like six day blocks so we'll see guys but anyways this food is getting cold um yeah <laughs> it's Monday morning I'm gonna go watch the last dance the last two episodes guys but hey your girl's back home and I will be with you guys with any updates later on today because I'm gonna be asleep all day so guys thank you for rocking with me to Phoenix talk to you later have a good morning be safe bye guys